Myth is saying, is Aisha's is, is the Aisha argument a good argument against Islam? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get easier than this. I used to think it's a low hanging fruit and we shouldn't go for it, but why? I mean, I changed my mind that why should we not go for one of the most ridiculously, obviously um, immoral things that Islam promotes? Like, why is that? Why wouldn't it be? You have a religion that outright explicitly endorses child marriage. I mean, child marriage is like it's not. It's child rape, okay? I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say the words because I don't care about YouTube and all these social media platforms. They have been treating us so badly and I, I'm just, I'm gonna try to be less um, picky about the words I use. I mean, I'm still gonna try to, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna say it's child rape, okay? It's not even child marriage. And it, Islam is a religion that is so obviously endorses child rape No, that it's, incredible that the world still sees this uh, as a, as something to endorse it doesn't get more obvious like it's, it's in black and white like there is no doubt that it does that anybody that is telling you that it doesn't is either lying to you or they're delusional it's in black and white the endorsement of child rape in islam is explicit direct and obvious and this is a religion that is endorsed by at least two billion people even non-believers who are endorsing it it's incredible that this is still a religion that is taken seriously i think it needs to be highlighted more often that the islam does endorse child rape um mustafa is being very nice very polite very friendly uh, and he's saying this is very nice this is how this is how we have a very, very friendly, uh, nice Muslim in our community right here who is asking me about my views. And his question is, where's your evidence she was a child, you imbecile? And he's referring to me. Uh, he's talking about me saying that Islam uh, promotes child rape because Muhammad, which is a prophet of Islam, who's supposed to be the role model for all men at all times, married Aisha when she was six years old uh, and raped her when she was nine. So Al Mustafa is asking me for evidence uh, where, for where she was, for where do I get the information that she was a child? So Al Mustafa, I'm going to introduce you to Ezla and Islamic sources, mainly the sources of hadith, which are the main sources of Islamic law and rulings and customs and morality. Um, as I, I'm sure you do not know anything about hadith, because if you did, you wouldn't be asking me this question. So you seem to be very ignorant about Islam. Um, you seem to be very ignorant about Islam. Because you don't, you don't seem to know about hadith. Um, I'm, I'm sure if you were a little bit more informed about Islam, you would know that um, hadith, authentic hadith, sahih hadith, is recognized as the source of Islamic ruling more than the Quran is, because ninety first percent, ninety five percent, like not more when it comes to authenticity, not more in, in terms of volume. Right, because most of Islamic teachings come from the Hadith, not from the Quran. Quran has a more of an authority, but Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim are second only to the Quran, and they are considered to be authentic. Um, and the words and doings of Muhammad, according to all four uh, Sunni Islamic schools of thought, and the Shias have their own Hadith. And according to Sahih Bukhari, many many times in this uh, in Sahih Bukhari. Um, it has been explicit, it has been explicitly mentioned that Muhammad raped Aisha when she was nine years old. So it's there. Maybe read it, maybe check it out before you make a claim. Okay. Oh, um, Al Mustafa is saying, I don't accept that hadith and age uh, don't determine whether you're a child or not. Wow. I have to highlight this. Guys, this is such a good case to sh for you to show the apologetics that people have, uh, uh, argument, the arguments that people make for why Muhammad 
didn't uh, rape a child, okay? This is fantastic. This is such a beautiful case for us to, uh, this is exhibit A for what do, what we're dealing with, okay? First of all, I was saying, I don't accept that hadith, okay? So Mustafa, if you don't accept Sahih Bukhari, if you don't accept Sahih Bukhari as an authentic source of Islam, everything that you know about Islam goes away. Most of what you know about Islam goes away because Sahih Bukhari is the source in which you know, like if you dismiss the authenticity of Sahih Bukhari, Islam as we recognize it today will become completely unrecognizable. You don't know how to do the Hajj. You don't know how to do Salat. You don't know how to do Zakat. You don't even, you wouldn't even be able to recognize Muslims. There's nothing, there's really, like there's very few things about Islam that is recognizable without recognizing the authenticity. Everything we know about what Muslims do, four of the five pillars of Islam is based on Sahib, the authenticity of Sahih Bukhari. So this is a ridiculous claim to make. Your Islam wouldn't be Islam without, without Hadith. You're, you're dismissing most of Islamic scripture if you don't recognize Sahih Bukhari. So. Congratulations! Like you, you just ended Islam. You're not, a, you know, you're you're not, you made Islam unrecognizable. So thank you for that. Um, but this, but it gets even. I thought that was ridiculous. It gets even worse. Saying also, um, age doesn't determine whether you're a child or not. So guys, please recognize what level of lunacy we deal with when we when we claim that according to islam muhammad raped a 9 year old these people to to be able to get out of that first of all you contradicted yourself right the only reason why you're saying age doesn't determine if you're a child or not is because you recognize that muhammad did have sex with a 9 year old so your way of out of that is to be like you could be an adult 9 year old <laughs> <laughs> okay so guys this i'm not this is not a rare case this is an actual argument the this is the most popular argument i grew up with this argument by every single islamic teacher i had in school for 12 years in iran right every single year the te the religion teacher the their main argument for why muhammad slept with a nine-year-old is that a nine-year-old is potentially an adult back then. That this is not like a fringe excuse. This has been the main comeback. I mean, do I even need to respond to that? These people are saying that you could potentially be nine and not a child at the same time. That is their argument for why it's okay for Muhammad to rape a nine-year-old. Do I even need to respond to that? Look at this. Here's another thing. He's saying, show me where it says he raped her, you disgusting liar. This is, you know, what, why he's saying this? Because he, when I say he raped her, is because these people think it's possible for you to get consent from a nine-year-old. So when I say he raped a nine-year-old, their comeback is he, did, he didn't rape her. It was a consensual relationship. So they are outing themselves. He's, he's, he's outing himself. The, re the reason why I say it's rape is because she was nine. So is, and it, it's beautiful because they will come and show that they accept that he raped a nine-year-old, he slept with a nine-year-old, because the issue for them is that it wasn't rape because she wanted it. That's, that's the issue that they have with it. They don't understand that for us, any sexual relationship with a nine-year-old is rape. They don't understand that. Unbelievable. This is so good. This is so, Al Mustafa, like when I tell people how ridiculous these arguments are, people don't believe us that this is actually your arguments. I thank you that you come here to, to demonstrate that these are actual arguments that people make in favor of their disgusting, evil, child molesting prophet. These are the excuses they make for him raping a nine-year-old. Like, I can't demonstrate these people. You help us by coming here and making these arguments. You help us in showing to people that these you are real. This is a real issue.
this is these are the Muslims are real that the Muslims that are making these arguments they, they exist in the world out there so I thank you for that unbelievable unbelievable he look at the question show me where it says he raped her you disgusting liar the place where it says that she's nine years old that's where it says she raped her where it says that the, he consummated the marriage at age nine where it says she was nine years old that's where it says that it was rape do you understand that do you understand that you cannot have consensual relationship with a nine-year-old? Please keep talking, Al Mustafa. You're outing yourself. Hold up. This is one of the many hadiths. I'm going to show one of you, one of them, okay? Because for pe some people are like, this, it can be this bad, okay? Show me, you want me to show you evidence? Okay, Al Mustafa, here, here's the evidence. Okay, this is Sahih Bukhari, okay? This is Sahih, you know, Sahih means it's authentic. This is the highest degree. When it says Sahih, especially given that it's Bukhari, guys, when it comes to sources of Islamic scripture, sources of islamic hadith it doesn't get any higher than bukhari than sahih bukhari you don't get higher sources of hadith than sahih bukhari you are not going to get any more authentic than this if this is not islam then there is no islam nothing about islam would not be recognizable nothing about what muslims are doing none of their hajj none of their fasting none of their zakat none of their salat none of that would be islamic because this is the highest Metric, it doesn't get more bigger than this when it comes to hadith. So this is what here he's, he wants evidence. Here's the goddamn evidence, guys. Everyone, this is not like a un, this is not an un-Islamic. This is if you don't believe this website, which is an Islamic website, just go get the goddamn book, go get the Sahih Bukhari book and just read it yourself. Every single hadith source I, I, every single say bukhari says this every single one of them has this in there multiple times multiple times okay so let's read it okay it says the prophet sallallahu alayhi <laughs> married her when she was six years old and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old is that the evidence you want al mustafa who's calling me a disgusting liar is this the, here here am i a disgusting liar now he constantly he raped her when she was nine years old do you understand why we're calling this rape because she was nine years old here's your goddamn evidence are you happy there you go there's your evidence Nothing to say? Where are you? Come on, come at me. Like I answered the question, dumbass. I answered you. You wanted evidence? I gave you evidence. Here it is. You embarrass, you embarrass your own religion. This is your disgusting prophet. This is your disgusting prophet. This is what Islam considers a, considers a role model for all men for all time. You have anything else to say? No? unbelievable guys here's another thing if you want to be a quranist if you want to be a quranist which is like ridiculous that you say that oh yeah where where'd he go <laughs> the quran itself tells you that raping ch children is okay the quran itself because the quran when it's talking about divorce the quran says there's a verse in the quran specifically that says that among your, your wives that you're divorcing, here are the instructions for the ones that have hit puberty, and here are the instructions for the ones that haven't yet hit haven't yet hit puberty. The Quran refers to the, the wives of Muslims that haven't yet reached puberty, the age of puberty yet. So even the Quran itself directly refers and endorses child marriage, 
which is more accurately known as child rape. Anyways, I'm going to head out soon. Okay, here's an interesting news. Uh, Mustafa is saying, what's the age of consent then? It sure is not nine. Okay. I don't know what the best age is. Some people say 18. Some people say 16. Some people say 20. But I can tell you, it's not nine. Okay. It's not nine. <laughs> okay. We're sure. We're pretty sure it's not nine, Al Mustafa. Don't make this like, oh, it's a gray area. So who knows? Okay. If you like, oh, like, oh, it's a gray area. So why not go with two then? God damn it. Insane. Ex God damn it. My English and Persian is getting, I'm getting intense because I'm ever since I'm doing the Persian show, my English and Persian is getting mixed with each other. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.